After experimenting in bread baking, a few disastrous sewing projects, and destroying my hair with scissors and bleach, I decided it was time to channel all of my anxious quarantine energy into something new. Gardening. The soil is loosened thoroughly so that the tender roots can grow through it easily. Our garden kind of fell apart in the summer, toppled by enormous weeds and grasses. As much as I was ready to turn it into my Pinterest cottagecore dream garden, I knew that would have to wait until spring. And before then, I had to do a whole lot of weeding, mulching, and building. So here's how I transformed this overgrown space into an efficient winter garden ready for spring. One of the first things I knew I wanted to do was build a cold frame to be able to still grow some food all winter. A cold frame works as a tiny greenhouse and allows you to pretty much grow year round. I took a window that I thrifted, measured the width, and then cut seven pieces out of some scrap wood. The first piece would go in the front with two pieces sitting on top of each other in the back, and then two pieces on each side to create the sloped frame. I'll link the tutorial from this old house I used in the description below. Next, I found a spot that would receive the right amount of sunlight, and I made a square of bricks for the frame to sit on top of to prevent the wood from rotting. Then I planted some spinach inside the frame. I also planted some pansies around the frame to add some color to the area. Then I went to work clearing all of the brush and dead weeds which took almost a full day. Next, I prepped a bed for the garlic. I wanted to plant something that would grow through the winter, and so far, the garlic has really held up. I got an entire bag for free at a local nursery. After everything was in the ground, I mulched the bed. Next, I replanted some strawberries and then added some pansies to the brick walkway to brighten up the beds while I wait for spring. I did the same in this bed, adding some blue and white pansies to look at during the cold months. Next I started clearing the bed where I would put the cold frame, harvesting some peppers from this pepper plant before I pull it out. To make the garden posts, I cut some scrap wood into thin rectangles and also cut some fallen branches to a length that I liked. Then I took small finishing nails and nailed them through the branches into the signs. I like the way that these turned out, but I will have to make a lot more for the spring when I'll have so much more growing. To add more color to the winter garden, I wanted to DIY my own mushroom figurines. They can be quite expensive online, but this DIY takes only a couple of materials and just a few hours. After shaping the mushrooms into their desired shape, I used the other end of a drill bit to just make an indent for the wooden dowel I would insert later. I also noted the size of the drill bit so that I could buy wooden dowel with that same width. This helps the mushrooms to have a snug fit. 
After baking the clay, I painted the mushrooms, giving them a slight color variation. Then, I cut the dowel to a length that I liked, and using some wood glue, pushed it into the hole. Finally, I sprayed a satin finished clear enamel just to keep these safe outdoors. There were two ancient garden boxes on the opposite end of the garden that were so overrun with weeds that you could barely see that they used to be boxes, so my next project was to replace them. I spent hours weeding this area, but luckily my nephew and stepbrother wanted to help. Next, I cut my 8x8x8s to the right length so that I had two 4-foot ends and two 8-foot sides. I pre-drilled my holes, screwed the ends together, and then, off camera, I added some brackets to the inner corners to make them extra secure. Finally, I stained everything with this reddish deck stain to give the garden a warm touch of color. Then I did the same thing all over again with the next bed. We also replaced the brick bed on the end because it wasn't holding up as well as I had wanted it to and that gave this section of the garden a nice uniformity. So, after a whole winter of work, this is the final reveal. A fully functional garden, mulched and prepped for all the growing I have planned in the spring. I hope you enjoyed this little minor transformation and stay tuned for more garden videos in the spring.